The following video is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. RCA Computers RCA Corporation was founded as the Radio Corporation of America, an American electronics company in existence from 1919 to 1986. RCA is well known worldwide for its significant contributions in the areas of radio. television, electronics, and the music industry in general. It is perhaps less well remembered that RCA was also a major player in the computer industry at least for a period of time during the 1950s and 1960s. In 1951, RCA announced its large-scale analog computer, the Typhoon. It contained over 4,000 vacuum tubes and was one of the largest analog computers ever built. In 1952, RCA announced the Bismack, a large-scale digital electronic computer containing over 25,000 vacuum tubes. The Bismack was designed primarily for military use and was a very large system with multiple components. The U.S. Army purchased a Bismack system for inventory tracking and control for about $4 million. Only about six Bismack computers were eventually made. In 1958, RCA introduced the 501 Electronic Data Processing System. The RCA 501 was a medium to large-scale computer, utilizing all transistor logic. The RCA 501 had been in development for over three years. RCA had been a pioneer in the development of transistors and other solid-state devices. RCA's experience in applying transistors to highly complex products enabled its engineers to design the most effective use of transistors in its electronic data processing systems. Advancements in electronics, including considerable research and development by RCA itself, helped usher in high-performance computers, utilizing transistorized components and pluggable card units. The pluggable card units were printed circuit boards, also known as PCBs. RCA's sales brochure for the 501 called the machine the world's most advanced electronic data processing system. All system operating controls were centralized in a specially designed computer control panel. Seen here, the operator can control all operations of the machine, start and stop programs, or allow programs to run virtually unattended. Its modern streamlined design and relative versatility for the time made it attractive to many businesses and military organizations. The 501 also utilized high-speed magnetic core storage. Core memory could be expanded from 16,000 to 250,000 characters. An optional random access drum memory device was able to provide 1.5 million characters of storage. The 501 also utilized a high-speed printer that could deliver output at 600 lines per minute with up to 120 characters per line. The 501 could accommodate up to 63 magnetic tape units. Other system components included a card punch, card reader, paper tape punch, paper tape reader, typewriter verifier, and other devices. The Air Force purchased a 501 system for $121,698 in 1959. It occupied an entire floor of one of their buildings, and the floor had to be reinforced to support the massive weight of all the system components. It also required two 12.5-ton refrigeration and heating units to keep the system running. Other customers using the RCA 501 computer system included the U.S. Navy, U.S. Army, Raytheon Missile Systems Division, State Farm Life Insurance Company, General Tire and Rubber Company, and others. RCA went on to produce other computers, such as the 301 and the 601, and the RCA Spectra 70 line of large-scale computers. By 1971, however, 
RCA had experienced millions in losses and decided to get out of the commercial computer manufacturing business. In September 1971, RCA sold its commercial computer division to Sperry Rand, which owned the Univac product line for $121 million. In 1986, RCA was bought by General Electric, who sold off portions of the company. Today, the RCA name is owned by Thomson, a French company. German multinational mass media conglomerate, Bertelsmann, purchased the RCA record division. Today, RCA is a global trademark, administered by RCA Trademark Management. The following slides show some of RCA's wide variety of products and product lines over its extremely productive history.